Hello everyone! Have you ever wondered how to ensure smooth software functionality after new changes or updates? In this video, we'll talk about regression testing. Actually, our channel is fully dedicated to technology, business, and innovations. So, make sure you subscribe not to miss new videos. And now, let's get back to the topic. Regression testing aims to make sure that a program retains its core functionality after new updates. Regression testing uses test cases that have already been used. You need to re-execute them to check if the new changes cause bugs or issues in functionality. Regression tests can focus on one unit of code, interacting units of code, or the whole code base. And what is the difference between regression testing and retesting? In fact, the answer is easy. Regression tests are done after changes are introduced to make sure these don't affect other features. Retesting, on the other hand, tests a program to ensure that it functions correctly, as designed. Retesting is also done to check if the test cases that previously failed will now work after bugs were fixed. How do we implement regression testing at Jelvix? Let's follow the process step by step. Step 1. Detect modifications in the source code and their impacts on features. Step 2. Prioritize these changes and product requirements. Step 3. Determine entry point and entry criteria to see if your app meets the preset eligibility. Step 4. Determine final point for the required eligibility. Step 5. Identify all test components and schedule tests. Do you want to learn how our team improves the QA process? Click the link in the description box to read the article. When should regression testing be performed? According to our experience, there are six key instances wherein regression testing is necessary. A new requirement is added to an existing feature. A new feature is added. The code base is fixed to solve defects. The source code is optimized to improve performance. Patch fixes are added. There are changes in configuration. In general, regression testing is a complex process. Using automation tools may lower the chance of errors and even decrease the time spent on testing. Let us share our own list of the best automated regression testing tools. Selenium. It operates in a wide range of browsers and tackles various types of software and web apps. However, Selenium cannot test desktop and mobile applications. That's probably the best automation testing tool. Don't you think so? Drop the comment under the video. IBM Rational Functional Tester can assess and act like a human tester. It can perform in a wide range of applications. It also provides quick customer guidance and support. Sahi Pro is an automation giant that is tester-centric and tester-friendly, and even beginners can handle it. Sahi Pro uses a single automation tool across a wide variety of programs and platforms. We like that it lessens the hassle of switching between tools for different apps. Test Complete is a tester-friendly tool that makes use of a hybrid testing technique in terms of visual testing. It runs on web, desktop, and mobile apps, and gives you a choice between scripted or scriptless tests. Time Shift X is a time traveler tool that gives you the ability to test past and future versions of the software across all operating systems and platforms. We love that Time Shift X hastens the duration of the test, reducing the time and resources needed to complete the testing session. And that's it! Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed it. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We provide UI UX design, software engineering, testing, and tech consulting services to top brands worldwide. Need experts help? Contact our team and we'll be happy to help you. Find our contact details in the description below. In case you are looking for more guides on software testing, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Our QA and testing team is preparing more guides you'll love.